Hello and welcome back. Today I've got a little treat for you. Two things. Diversity crate's been updated and we got these three modded races again. Goblins, lizard people, and bug people. Ew, dude. Bug people. I hate bugs, I hate people. That's my nightmare. Nasty. Also, this beautiful, highly detailed map designed by this guy and placed onto Steam Workshop. Thank you very much. We will be using this today for our mayhem. First things first, let's place our kingdoms down. Let's try to be as fair as we can, but knowing how things go it probably won't be very fair let's go ahead and place elves in enchanted biome because they're pretty weak and they need it i would place the dwarves up here but this land kind of sucks so let's put them right outside of it right here let's put the orcs maybe down here where it's sort of hot but not like too crazy although they're kind of stranded there but you know what maybe it's good for them let's put the bug people in the swamp for sure, dude. Easy choice. Let's give them a couple extra because I know they're pretty weak. Uh, lizard people, let's put them in the desert because they like it hot. Maybe here. There you go. It looks like it connects so they can get to the mainland from there. I think I want to put goblins somewhere good because they're really weak. Let's put them here. And then we just have humans left. Let's put them put them up here okay sweet looks good to me there's our seven kingdoms now i don't know about you guys but uh i'm rooting for these little guys they got their silly little hats they're so mischievous and i don't know what it is just generally good vibes from them so goblins we root for you although i'm pretty sure in order for them to expand they have to take over a village so it's gonna be them versus humans so we'll see how that goes. Uh, elves looking good out here. Dwarves, pretty good starting spot as well. If they make their way this direction, there is a ton of silver up here. Stinky, cold, icy land, but silver. So keep that in mind. Definitely a frozen wasteland full of bad terrain, but uh, there's a lot of silver. So it might be worth checking out. Also, they got a pretty good starting area of this mushroom area. This is pretty, pretty good land. Probably the biggest uninterrupted starting terrain out of anyone. Lizard people i feel like uh location wise starting wise it's very okay but they've got all this up here and all this up here and so depending on what they do they could get some really good land but we put them somewhere that's not necessarily great but uh I think that they're going to do great. Bug people, gross. Look at their little bug homes and their little bug faces. Ew. Little bug antenna. Ew, dude. I like that the kids are just like regular looking kids with like two more dots. Actually, wait a second. Ew, they got four legs. Four little bug legs. Ew, dude. Cool. They've already got a dock. They're doing a little fishing. Good for you guys. Um, orcs for some reason, saw this land and they were like, oh yeah, let's make a village there for sure. It's half corrupted and half wasteland. Perfect. All right, looks like bug people have the same idea, although they at least moved outside of it. They're curious. But then again, if you're a bug, you probably see nothing wrong with this tree. It's a very bug looking tree. Uh, it looks like humans and elves are making an alliance and goblins and orcs made an alliance. That actually might be, actually wait, hold on here. Who's allying with who? Okay, so everyone's allied together, except for the orcs and goblins are on their own alliance. There's currently two teams right now, the goblins and the orcs and literally everyone else. We'll see how long that lasts, but that does not look good for our little green friends. Look how silly they look. Look at their little pointy hat. Oh, I didn't even really think about this, but this is a pretty good spot because of this. You'll have to deal with some crystal people, but there'll probably be a lot of good things to mine up in here. Also, how are the destroyed houses right here? What happened? Also, you may have noticed I didn't put anyone on this whole landmass. I think I want this to be like earned, you know? It's not the best land ever, but it looks cool. You think that this sort of thing comes unearned? No way. You gotta earn this. This little magical water fountain swimming pool area. You gotta earn it. And there's also some good land to be had, some good friends to be made, and um, a little bit of everything here. So we'll see who lands here first. This island, on the other hand, I don't think I recommend it. I didn't realize there were demons here. I did not place them. But yeah, no one should bother. I don't think I'd have to tell them to not bother this place, but I've seen people do some stupid stuff in this game. The goblins are gonna see this and be like, you know what? Let's send all of our best people there. Oh, we got a war. Elves versus orcs, which means everyone except for goblins versus orcs. Oh no. This also means humans versus goblins, I think. Crap. So soon. They're not great in a fight. They've got pretty standard health and damage, and they're being outmatched population-wise by quite a bit, so it's not looking good for them. Orcs are pretty tough, so depending on how long this war goes on, they could survive it, but the lizard people I hear, and holy smokes, they look scary. They look extra tall, don't they? Goodness gracious, look at this guy. Oh, that's the thing about them. They got extra damage, but less health, so they hit hard 
harder, but they die pretty quick. And also, he's starving, because they forgot to eat breakfast this morning. I don't know why you would attack on an empty stomach. And also, they're not expanding at all. They have a lot of good space to move into. All these land masses are connected. They're not stranded here. Look, they can get through right here to this island, and that connects to this one. Like, they're not stuck here. They're able to get over here, but um, they're not really expanding. But the bug people, on the other hand, oh, they're expanding. Getting their little grimy little bug hands on everything. Disgusting. I didn't think I'd see the day that I'd be rooting for the orcs, but I do hope they survive this, because they're on a team with my little buddies over here. And I hope the best for everyone. Although, somehow the goblins are, like, holding it down. The goblins might be okay. Actually, no. They're not gonna be okay. They're gonna get obliterated. Humans have become too powerful, and the goblins have just not expanded quick enough. They're just barely setting up new villages right now. Meanwhile, the humans have like three cities. And the elves, this whole time, they're just becoming a little superpower over in the corner. But they're very weak and they need the help. So same thing goes for dwarves. They have a very strong start here, but they could still lose because of how kind of weak they are. If they do eliminate the orcs here though, that will help everyone else's chances because if you leave these guys alive too long, they will come back to haunt you. Or rather, they won't haunt you, they'll just kill you. Look at this. 170 health, up to 24 damage. They're too strong. They're not even afraid of this biome. Look at them. They're just like existing in the corrupted biome. They're like, oh, what? There's skeletons here? So? Oh, acid blobs? So? Here we go. Our first ghost outbreak between the lizard people and the bug people. And they might just pull through. Nice. Somehow, the lizard people have still not expanded. They do not know how, I guess. Anyone that's been rooting for them, I'm so sorry. They have lizard brain. This guy's name is Sun. Imagine your child was born and you're asked what to name him, and you just name him Son. What do you want to name your son? Son. That's the level of intellect we're dealing with here. Oh, unity of people was dissolved. Okay, this alliance was broken completely. The only alliance currently standing is goblins and orcs. Yes, the war is over too. These little guys get to live a little longer. Good, I was hoping no one would get eliminated so early, but let's go ahead and crank the speed up a little bit because uh, this sort of thing tends to take a while. We got an alliance forming again between humans, elves, and the bug people. Don't ally with them, dude. Okay, the new alliance is humans and elves, and they're declaring war on, uh-oh, the dwarves are declaring war as well. I don't know who you are strong enough to kill right now. Oh, humans and elves just declared war on the dwarves, and the goblins are declaring war on the dwarves as well. They're trying to get on the elves' good side. Honestly, good call. 330 population? Yeah, I'd probably be uh, trying to befriend them too. Okay, but this means everyone is against the dwarves. Everyone except for the bug people. Ew, dude. What, you weren't invited to the war? I wonder why. Maybe because of your big bug antenna. Oh, he's so happy though. I feel bad for being mean to them. All right, you guys are growing on me. Ew, bugs growing on me? Ugh, gross, dude. What is this? Gross. Okay, luckily the dwarves are huge right now, so I don't think this is gonna be as big of a problem for them as it could be. I think they're very much ready for this war and not worried. I also think no one can get to them from this side of the map without a boat yet. I don't think the elves can get there. Actually, it looks like the humans could if they want, but will they? Oh, we got some fighting over here. Who was that? Oh, I think it was orcs. Yeah, oh, there's orcs over here too. And lizard people. Speaking of which, they still have not expanded. Maybe they don't want to. The goblins have declared war on the lizard people and the lizard people are not taking it very well. It's such a long walk for them to get there too. Oh my gosh, look how far they have to walk. They have to zigzag up all the way down around and over and then they die just like that, obliterated. Here they come, dude. First, they gotta walk six miles, but they're coming to destroy you. You better get ready. Look at that, this guy just had a birthday on the walk over there. These people are aging with how long this walk is. Here they come. Somehow he's the only one that made it this far though. He aged two years during that walk only to die at the front lines. Okay, how are we looking here? Elves and goblins still after the dwarves. Dwarves still after the lizards and orcs also after the dwarves and bug people ironically they're the only ones not bugging anyone else i guess they don't need to they can bug at home i don't know how the lizards are still alive but i i don't know i hope that they hold on for a while i don't know what they're doing wrong and why they don't think they need to expand but the dwarves are coming you got multiple years before they get here but the dwarves are coming oh look at this humans here in the in the dwarf territory and it's not looking good their population's dropping like crazy oh that elves are here too. Bro, the dwarves are getting teamed up on so bad right now. The goblins are like, we're helping too, but I haven't seen them send to anyone. They're like, oh yeah, we'll be right behind you. They're just trying to make friends right now, all right? 
They don't know how to fight. Lizards are down to two population. They just got eliminated, and the dwarves immediately set up camp there, uh, despite there being bug people all over the place. What's going on here? Okay, everyone just declared peace with the dwarves, except for the bugs just declared war. So everyone was about to let them live, and the bugs were like, you know what? No, let's not let them live. And I kind of respect that, you know? Leaving a kingdom with 20 population left just to live and rot and get destroyed later kind of gives them false hope. You know, the dwarves eliminated the lizards and now they deserve to be eliminated. Such is life. The humans have snatched up the dwarves' old land and mushroom biome really quickly. They're on it. That's going to be huge for them. I'm kind of glad the orcs aren't just slaying out. They got weakened early on. They've still been expanding, but they're definitely not a huge threat currently. The big three are definitely bugs, humans, and elves. Elves are declaring war on some unlucky loser, dude. Who's it going to be? No one? Probably dwarves, but dwarves are gone. Goodbye, dwarves. You did well. They had such a strong start, but then everyone teamed up on them. They got pretty badly backstabbed because they were part of the original alliance, and then it was dissolved, and then all their old alliance buddies declared war on them. Oh no, humans just declared war on the goblins. Little guys, no. 400 population versus 100? This doesn't look good. And the elves are allied with them too, which means they're against the elves as well. Oh man, my little pointy hat friends. You deserved so much better. The mod races aren't like that good. I know that the land wasn't great over here, and I forgot that they don't really expand very quickly. They mostly take over old villages, but they were never big enough to do that, so they kind of got stuck. But the lizards were really bad. Goblins are okay. Bug people, I'm glad they're doing well. Otherwise, it'd be a pretty weak test of the mod races, so uh, thanks for saving the video, bug people. Sorry I've been saying ew towards you every time I see you. I'm not gonna stop, though. Ew. Okay, the goblins are gone, and some alliance is being broken between elves and humans, and also bugs are about to take someone else down. Oh, they declared war on the orcs, their next door neighbors. Kind of a big deal. They way outweigh them in population by about double, but the orcs are really strong, so they probably will be able to defeat them, but it will definitely be a fight. Look at this. The orcs are counterattacking. They've been waiting a long time to destroy these goofy-looking bug houses. Random skeleton just hanging out in the middle of it all, being a part of it. Man, they've lost a surprising amount of population for how little damage they've done, but looks like the humans just declared war as well. All right, it's not looking good for the orcs. They're down to two villages, 70-something population, and the humans are at war with them now, too. So yeah, it doesn't look good. I'm really hoping that the bug people can take over some of this land, though, instead of the humans, because the humans have been very aggressive in taking land. I know people will say I gave them the best starting spot, but being in the middle can also be the worst spot because everyone teams up on you. They've just been swooping everything. Like, look, they swooped this horrible island, right? They're just taking everything they can get. They took over this area. They took the goblins' land pretty quickly. Uh, you know, they've been... They've been very aggressive. Orcs are gone. Oh, no way. The elves just declared war on the humans. They have 200 less population, but uh, they do have enchantments, though, so that's cool. Yikes. Okay. Elves have really good territory as well, but I think they reached a point where in order to grow, they do have to take some of the humans' land. They're kind of boxed in a little bit. And no one's taken this island, man. Kind of sad. All right, elves. Let's see it. You're going to have to send more than one guy, but maybe he'll win the war. Nope. His bravery will be remembered. Not a great start for the elves. Also, the orcs are back with one population. The elves are not okay with that. Also, looks like the bug people started a village down here. Good for you guys. That's actually huge for them because if these two big kingdoms are busy for a little while, then they can get a little buzzy down here, if you know what I mean, because they're bugs. Looks like the elves just declared peace with the orcs, um, but the bug people are going to take over that war and just do it themselves. I don't really understand how they're still here, but I guess there was one orc that stayed in hiding until the war was over, and has come to reclaim their rightful place, and never mind. They've been eliminated for real. Rest in peace. Okay, the bug people have just taken second place in population. Elves in the low 600s. The elves have been at war with the humans for a while now, but their population has really not changed. The humans have just expanded too much, I feel like. But now the bugs are at war with the humans, so now it's the two smaller kingdoms at war with the one big one in the middle. This could very easily result in the humans defeating both of them, but they're kind of outnumbered a little bit. 
and being attacked from both sides. Population staying kind of steady though for being at war with two different uh, kingdoms, but I think it's because the bugs haven't really made their move yet. Do the bug people get boats? What do their boats look like? Oh, regular boats. Very not bug-like at all. All right, where are you headed? Picking up some bugs? Dropping off some bugs? No? All right. Humans have dropped into the mid 800s and the bug people are about to break 700. It looks like they are actually weakening the humans and the humans are also weakening the elves. So I don't think the elves get out of this very well if they do at all, but this is perfect opportunity for the bug people people to spread around a little bit. And oh, look at that. They just took over some of the orcs old land and they're spreading along this island. They're kind of in a good situation here. Look at this army, dude. Let's go. They're swarming, dude. They still haven't hit 700 yet and humans are potentially going to drop into the 700s, so that's good. But it looks like the humans are counterattacking now, which is bad for the bug people. But they do have enough land to hold out. Also, what's this? What's going on here? Don't let them set up camp over here. The humans are kind of jerks, you know? I'm kind of rooting against them right now, if I'm honest. Oh no, not their secret island. What the? Where did you get that, dude? He's got 10 kills, though. Did he go to the demon island? and kill a demon and live to tell the tale? I don't know how you could go here and survive, but good for you, I guess. Although I have seen it where they can kill them with a bow and then get the sword. <laughs> it makes no sense, but it can happen. He cheated. He cheated the game. There's a lot of fighting going on up here, and I feel like the humans just do more damage or something. Their stats are pretty much the same, but it feels like the humans are winning in every fight. They are making some moves here. They're just not taking ground very fast. Okay, humans have dropped into the 600s. It's like they're about to hit 700 again, but that means that currently bug people are in the lead and kind of holding it, but barely. The elves have been pushed to the very edge of the world. You poor fellows. You were given the best land and uh, you ended up going up against the strongest kingdom. Uh, but you may have weakened them enough for the bugs to have a chance, but I don't think that you yourselves have a chance. They are guiding others to a treasure that they cannot possess. Okay, it looks like bug people have kept their island. They successfully defended, but they lost a lot of their bug houses. Oh, bug. Buddy. It's so sad. They need to get over here, though, and take some of this. Look at all this good land, dude. It's not great land, but it is good land. Look at that, man. The bug people have almost destroyed this whole village up here. Let's go. Oh, man. The hero, though. It's being guarded by a champion. Champion's dead. Okay, is that it? Can they do it? Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Okay, mushroom area has been defeated, and they're taking it immediately. Dude, they're doing so well. I'm, like, weirdly proud of them. I, I feel like I owe them an apology for calling them gross and ugly this whole time. I didn't think I'd be rooting for the bugs to defeat the humans, but here we are. It's been a weird day. Look at this guy, man. Emerim, Silver Boots. He's got four kills and 18 children. Jeez Louise, man. How have you had time to go to war, too? Okay, humans have pretty much been pushed to the very middle just their starting area and surrounding areas, and the war continues. The elves are very persistent, but I don't think they're actually doing any significant attack. They're just hanging on for dear life at this point, but bless their little hearts. Looks like the elves have made it to the heart of human territory, and look at that, they're down to 200 population. Jeez Louise. They're getting obliterated from both sides, and actually the elves might outlive the humans surprisingly. They were defending as best they could against the humans, but now the humans are so weak they can't even attack back anymore. Look at that. Oh, they're down to one village. As the king of this establishment, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, my bad. Maybe if you cared more about your kingdom and less about your fit, then maybe they'd still be alive to see it. Oh, look at him. He just jumped on a ship. He's leaving town. He's moved to another village. Uh-oh, this village is also under attack. You think you'll be safe here? Oh, no one's safe. Once the bugs arrive... Oh, he's actually still alive after the bugs arrived. <laughs> oh, he just died of old age. Okay, but I think the bugs are preparing a very big attack. They're just waiting for their Uber, who's right there, but is not good at reading a map. Looks like some of them are down here. Nice. 36 population. How are the elves doing? What the heck? The humans took over part of their kingdom? How, dude? They're on their last little breath here, and they took over your village? This one guy has 49 kills? Holy smokes, dude. How? 51 kills, 52. Holy smoke, someone stop this man. Oh no, he's starving. Oh, he 
died? He had 700 health left. He just died instantly. His kingdom was destroyed, but why did he die? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, humans are officially gone, and it comes down to these two. The bug people with about a thousand population versus the elves with 330. This is the part where we fast forward until someone declares war, because they're both just going to expand for a while, probably. And would you look at that? The elves just declared war on the bug people, and they managed to catch up. Look at that. They almost caught up in population, and now they declared war at the opportune time. And now they've passed them. Bug people, what are you doing? You never even expanded on this island. I feel like they made it their goal to defeat the humans, but then after that, they like didn't know what they wanted. They just like sat there and they let the elves take everything over. Look at this. They're dropping into the 900s already, and elves are up to 1400. Buddy, you've got a thousand health and a bunch of crazy weapons. Why are you gathering berries? Your kingdom needs you, bro. Oh, he just died. <laughs> Maybe from stress, I don't know. Yikes. All right, well, you know what? I think the elves are probably gonna win. And as much as I wanted one of the mod races to win, I'm actually okay with that. The elves started off strong because they had a great starting spot. Then they got obliterated by everyone, pushed to the literal edge of the world, down to like a hundred population. They teamed up with bugs to defeat the humans. And then once the humans were gone, they expanded like crazy. And now they're backstabbing their former allies. I feel like the bugs could have taken it. I think they just needed to declare war like right away. When it was a thousand versus 200, they could have won. But I don't know. Maybe they showed the elves peace. But the elves didn't want peace. They wanted world domination. And granted, it's not over yet by any means. They're still holding on. But look at this. These are all elves. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think the bug people used most of their army on that last war. Dang, the elves are going crazy. Look at these armies. Also, this guy's got a fire sword. 105 year old with a fire sword. You guys are screwed. Dang, that was a quick takeover too. They just like steamrolled them. 2,000 population to 200 bug people. You fumbled this one so bad. Also, how do they have 200 population? I don't see any of them. Oh, they're probably down here. I was like, <laughs> I see like five bug kids right here. How, how does it say 200, but. They've got one little cheeky island down here. I don't know. Maybe the elves won't find it. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. They found it. Look at this, dude. Look at all these guys with fire swords. There's four of them in there. Jeez. They don't even need to cross the river. They can just snipe them from over there. Bug people, you did your best. Well, you did your best for a little while, and then you gave up, I guess. And elves, I don't know what you did, but you managed to survive every war and turn it around. Good for you guys. Proud of you. I can't say you don't deserve it. All right, GG's. Uh, 2,000 population, elves win. Bug people, they were fun to watch, but ultimately they couldn't actually win. And lizard people, they got lizard brain, dude. They messed up. They fumbled. They didn't even expand at all. And the goblins, they hung on for a while. They survived a couple wars, but they didn't really expand either. So they got eliminated. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.